Hello, Hello my, my cool cats. cats and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a vet tech Q&A and of course I have my two very special guests. I have Jamie over here. She has, well I guess she'll tell you about herself. And then we have Ruba. Hello. They're both my co-workers and they're beautiful. Like always, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big like and subscribe for more videos like this. In addition, you can always check out the Animal Hospital's Instagram. They post the best content, especially on their stories. So check them out. You can check out my Instagram and her YouTube channel. So I'll put links. Everything will be in the description. How long have you guys been in the field and what inspired you guys to get started? Or us, but... You guys go first. Who wants to go first? I've been in the field for eight years now. I've been a veterinary technician, went to school for it. I've been working here at the animal hospital. What got me involved in this, because I love animals, but more importantly, I love my own animals. So I wanted to make sure they were healthy and that I could always take care of them, because they're number one. What about you, Ruba? Um, I've been in the field working for a year here at this animal hospital, but I've been shadowing since like last Last year, two, about last two year years January, now. yeah. So almost two years. And what um, inspired you to get started? Um, I had a, an anatomy teacher in college to become a um, a nurse. He was a veterinarian. He was like super happy, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I want to be happy. And then I like bumped into Jamie and Doctor Nsara because I was clients of them. Um, and and I hired her. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, like on the spot. I They're in like, her. come in, and I was like, okay. So I have been in the field since I was 19 years old. I started working at a random animal hospital and I was a receptionist initially um, and then they cross trained me and that's how I became a veterinary technician. Then I worked, I worked at three practices in total but this is the best one. I've been here since 2015. What inspired me to get on the field was I, want to, I wanted to become a veterinarian so I was like, what's the best? What's the best thing you could do? work with animals. This is like one of my favorite questions, it's the um, the drama. Because apparently, I guess in other animal hospitals it tends to be a lot of drama between the techs. Cat fights. Um, yeah, we just actually attack each other behind the scenes. <laughs> That's all we do. But what do you guys think? Because I think we're pretty chill. I think there's always drama in yes. veterinary hospitals, but here we don't have that drama with girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all pretty, um, we're family we're chill. here. It is a family. That. Any place you work at, you're going to deal with different people and you're going to have communication issues. That's like yeah. a given um, in any field. So I think it's just that since we're like a little family and we're missing Vanessa, but I'll put her we picture here. We are missing in. Vanessa, who <laughs> this is right here. has been here for just as long as these two girls. Yes. Yeah. In five minutes, we'll have a, a fist fight in the parking lot. Jamie and I are going to go at it. Um, if that's the drama you're looking yeah. for, stay tuned. Did slash do you think veterinary tech school is hard and what's the hardest part? Ooh. And how long did it take you to get to the level you are now Ooh. as a technician? So it takes between two and four years to do veterinary technician. Two years, if you want to get your degree, be certified. If you decide you want to continue into a specialty, there's lots of different specialties um, that you can get into. That's going to take a little bit longer. Um, and as far as the hardest thing, I think the schooling was very interesting. I think that every day was fun to learn about the different things that uh, just the same as a doctor would learn. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only thing is, it's hard taking your test. Test is hard, you have to study hard. Um, but it's it's worth it. It's for worth sure. to know. If you if you do for sure go um, to school, make sure you work in the hospital because it helps you a lot. Uh, I attended a four year uh, university and got my bachelor's degree, and I love school and it's my favorite thing in the world. And I can't wait to be a veterinarian. Can't relate. <laughs> I love school so much. Can't relate. If you don't like cleaning up poop and handling animals, this is not, not for you. You have to be have a passion for animals and not just cuddling, playing with them. You have to really understand that you're helping animals by, um, you know, performing these everyday tasks, yeah. not just, um, you know, cuddling. You gotta clean up poop, yep. you gotta yeah. wrestle them, you gotta go through the bad to get to the good. You always know you wanted to be a vet tech. I personally um, didn't, mm, like, I didn't want to be a vet tech per se, because I want to become a veterinarian but to be honest I love my job I love every second of it I love my co-workers I love coming in every day um, and they're my friends yeah. and we I like that we all have a common goal to like just help animals what about you did you always know you wanted to be a vet oh you explained it though oh, yeah well, wanted she, was good. she wanted to be but a now nurse. that I'm a I feel like now that I'm a vet tech I, I enjoy it a lot mm -hmm. and I, I don't regret it mm -hmm. I don't regret changing 
I loved horses and large animals. So, she, did. she tells me stories. Um, I think this is always what I wanted to do. Yeah. And once I started becoming a tech, I just loved it. You know, That's so you I stuck with it. That's what you need to do. Same. Then you stay home. <laughs> how do you guys feel about euthanasias? This is also another question we get. And how do we deal with dying patients, euthanasias, all the hard stuff that we can't really show on camera when we do the vet tech vlog? When you have the mentality in any medical field that you go into, death is kind of like an if, like it's gonna happen. Death is mm -hmm. gonna in any medical field you go to, death is gonna be a part of it. So I, it's not that I, it doesn't bother me, but euthanasias are. I feel like when the doctor performing the euthanasia is doing it under the correct terms, just like our doctor, it makes it very easy to be like, okay, it's time, and yeah. we have to be the ones to not we, but the doctor has to be the ones to make that choice. Um, so, I don't know. I just agree. Every time he does the euthanasia, I feel like it's always like the right thing to do. So I don't feel bad. It doesn't really bother me. It's better because they're not suffering anymore. Exactly. That's all that matters. It gets hard. It gets dark. Yeah. <laughs> but you just kind of fight through it and you know that tomorrow is going to be a better day. You're exactly. going to get to help someone else. Um, and you kind of just put those animals like in your heart a little bit. Mm -hmm. The ones that you fall for and just... There's always like those couple of cases where you're like get you're attached, attached to yeah. like the clients and the patients and stuff um, but it's something that it's part of life and we just have to be the ones that are strong for the people so we're strong for our clients um, would you ever become a veterinarian the answer for me is yes no I could either become a veterinarian yes. or a can't doctor do <laughs> what about you I can't do it no no. I'm not. Just a couple more years. If you I don't just... want to be a veterinarian, you could always date one and just have one instead. Oh, look at that. I, like, I've always wanted to become a doctor. And being a nurse is great. Like, I, I love being a nurse. But I just want to become a doctor. I think it's just, like, for myself, though. And I love school, so that just makes it easier. Because yeah, then like you could just be in school fun. forever. Yeah. I'd just rather own, own my own practice as a CBT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing also that I wanted to also mention to some of you guys. Um, a lot of a lot of the questions we also get are about like the pay of being a vet tech that yeah. obviously becoming a vet tech you're gonna be in debt forever you're gonna be poor I guess that's, is the not, thing. Always <laughs> that's not always you true. you can go yeah. be a specialist you can get certified yeah, yeah you as for sure every time you get certified in something there's educational classes yeah. continuing that you you can get pay raises all the time you yeah. can go to school to be a manager like we're both saying you can go be a manager of an animal mm -hmm. hospital yeah. there's always ways to move up you can also get a master's in veteran like if you get a master's then you can open up not even i don't even think you need a master's you don't to need open a ma up if you're a certified veterinary technician and yeah. you have at least some business um kind of background then yeah. you can you can open up it's no problem. Mm -hmm. Refer to your state laws before you yes. open up your own practice. What experience did you have before getting this job? <laughs> I had lots of experience. Yeah, actually. she did. She did. <laughs> I went and worked with animals like my entire life, and it's something I've been telling them for years. I tell mm -hmm. every tech that comes in here too. Um, if you cannot go get a job working as a vet tech, you have a job, you need to make money, whatever it is, you can always volunteer. There's yeah. wildlife yes. places where you can volunteer and get experience. Um, you make your own schedules. Yeah, I've been telling too. them there's mm -hmm. wildlife centers where you can work with birds, you can work with um, turtles, you can work with anything. I did my externship in two different places. Mm -hmm. I did it at a large animal where I did cows, horses, goats, all the farm animals. Cows, horses, goats. <laughs> and then I did a, um, a small animal veterinary practice. So I wanted to be kind of all around knowledgeable on all of the animals. When I was in high school, I worked at a, um, a grooming facility, and I actually somehow worked at the kennel, even though I'm like two feet tall. Yeah, so I would walk dogs and like, so I guess I technically got started in a kennel. Oh, okay, this one's great. It's about drawing blood. Uh, why we draw blood from the jug, in the, all of my videos, most of the time, uh, we draw blood from the jug. Um, so who cares to explain? How about Ruba? Ruba explain, because okay. she's literally in school right now. She's learning how to draw blood. From what school says, my school, they teach us that we always get blood from the jugular because we need to save the arms for um, any hospitalization or emergency because that needs to, that's most important. That's where the direct line goes. Exactly. Um, especially like she's, Brenda saying, the amount of blood that you need. Because mostly, most of the time we get um, like canine wellness, so we get like yeah. full blood panels, so you need like a lot of cc's, you need at least three cc's of blood. Um, so especially with the smaller dogs, it's extremely difficult to get it from the leg and it's stressful on the dogs and why would you just put them through that? So we usually get it from the jug. For the arm at least, 
when you're pulling and you're it's like a vacuum yeah so the pressure it also collapses the vein mm -hmm. and then that's why you also need to save that vein because if you blow the vein mm -hmm. it, it's not the same anymore it's mm -hmm. like a permanent Can't scar. Can't use it. Are you rubbing your nipples? No I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? It's because my belly like folds my clothes and I'm sweating. Oh, pregnant problems. So just, <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't mind. Show my pregnancy issues. I like that one. I'm wearing right now. Most, what are your favorite scrubs? Yeah. Your brand? Yeah. Cherokee right. is my favorite. Well, that's I don't know why. Brand? What's Any your favorite? Anything I can fit into. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. yeah, we're both really petite. <laughs> is it easier to work with dogs or cats? What is your preference? Dogs. I hate what about you. you? Um, <laughs> I love dogs. both dogs and cats, but I'd rather work as far as handling with a dog. Mm -hmm. I've been bit in the face by a cat, lip hanging, so a uh, little PTSD there, <laughs> but um, otherwise, yep. dogs. Mm -hmm. I, I love working with cats. Like, before I got pregnant, mm -hmm. I very much enjoyed working mm -hmm. with cats, but obviously, like, now I can't even, like, touch them. I can look at if them. If you've never really seen a mean cat, yeah. then you don't know the We joys. had a cat one time... Um, run into the roof and like stay there for yeah. a while. It was a feral cat that just like... I told them it was gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, you did. You literally said like, hey, don't yeah. open the cage. And then <laughs> tips for improving your your skills. Practice. 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 And have confidence. Get experience. Practice. Confidence is key. Another question is if, if it's hard working as a vet tech uh, with restraining animals while you're pregnant. And I don't restrain animals anymore because my Dear techs yeah, love me, know. obviously, yeah. So they take care of me, and I don't do that anymore. We can't let her do those yeah. things. No. Yeah. How do how do you get used to the smell of fecals? Oh, I love the smell. Uh, you don't get and used to it. Um, I think that you just need to. Uh, I feel like naturally have from a the strong beginning, stomach. Yeah, yeah, you naturally have a strong stomach because okay. in all yeah. medical fields, you if just you're have. sensitive to smells, and this is also not a job. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the worst smell I've ever smelled so far of working here is. Bloody, Bloody diarrhea. diarrhea for Bloody sure. Bloody diarrhea. You obviously, death. have not opened a bag of a or, dead animal for a while. Okay, that one time. Remember? Yeah, that, that one, one dog. dog. Make sure your school is accredited. Yes. Oh yeah, that's the most important yes. part. Oh, I know people that are like like paid so much money to go to these like private oh, institutes. God. And it's that not accredited. It's not accredited. That's yeah. so bad. Yeah. That's like in, that's the Thankfully worst thing we live ever. in Florida. It's a pretty pretty lax state. Okay, I think uh, that's all. Like what if you want to be a vet tech, do it. Go yes. believe in yourself, try it, yes. or become a veterinarian. Or shadow well, first. Veterinarian. Like, <laughs> shadow first. Just shadow first. Yeah. Shadow, shadow first, first, yeah, to make sure that this is the field yeah. for you. Because like you don't want to waste money. Yeah, it's don't expensive. Waste money. It is expensive. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love collabing with my two queens here and Vanessa, who is here with us in spirit. Right here. <laughs> there she Vanessa is. Vanessa is always with me. <laughs>